you guys. Today we're gonna give Jonas, Fern, and Ivy a bath, and then after we're finished, we're gonna walk you through our grooming routine. So let's get these three in the tub. guys are in here now the water isn't up too high but it's up high enough and I'm just going to pour some shampoo on their backs I usually use a different brand of shampoo called earth bath but I ran out of it so I just grabbed a bottle of aroma pause it's a botanical shampoo and uh, conditioner line but the grooming stuff that I've been using recently is actually just like a miscellaneous collection of things that random companies have sent us so we're just gonna use this today. It's a lemongrass vanilla bean, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's start with you, Ivy. Oh, it's a pink color. You can tell that. Her tight grumbles. So Jesse and I just realized that Fern and Ivy both grumble very differently. <laughs> we call Ivy's grumbles tight grumbles and we call ferns grumbles loose grumbles whenever you touch ivy's <laughs> those are her tight grumbles and we'll see if fern will do some loose grumbles later <laughs> okay so we'll let that sit on her fur while we <laughs> do fern Bum bum. Mm -hmm. Clean that little. Yeah. That's kind of some loose grumbles. <laughs> Fern loves getting her butt scratched. <laughs> Look at her little tail. Does that feel good, honey? Yeah, it's been a little while. Look at how bubbly she is. There are so many different types of dog shampoos on the market. I really don't think it matters which one you actually use as long as it's like a natural, preferably botanical uh, formula. I would never use a shampoo from like um, a conventional pet store, for example. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got little spiky furs on your ears. I guess in the same way that Ivy has her tight grumbles and Fern has her loose grumbles, it applies to like their features too, which is really interesting. So in regards to their coats, you can see how Ivy is like so short, like short haired and not really like super thick. Whereas Fern's coat is like so much longer and so much floofier, which is why she's foaming up so much better than Ivy. <laughs> they're so different, but they're so the same. <laughs> Ivy's like, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do Jonas. I know a lot of you guys are very familiar with his lion's mane. He likely has like a double, triple, quadruple coat here. Uh, his fur is so, so thick and luxurious, which makes it so delicious once he's bathed in clean. And then I'll get you a little wet. I'm just gonna rinse them off by using this little bowl. It's so much easier than trying to just splash them. Ivy didn't like that. <laughs> so we'll just do this basically over and over and over again. And then push the soap out of the fur. Okay. 
It's Fern's turn. We love to say that. <laughs> the two, Fern's two like catch lines are, it's Fern's turn and what about Fern? Cause she's kind of always getting left behind. <laughs> what about Fern? <laughs> A lot of the times people will tell you to be careful of getting the inside of their ears wet. There's actually like certain little things that you can put on their ears to keep them from getting uh, from getting wet. And the reason for that is because if their ears are too moist and you forget to dry them, they can get ear infections. <laughs> I'm not too super concerned about keeping her ears dry uh, in the bath because we're going to make sure that they're nice and dry once we get out. But I have a feeling someone will leave a comment like that. <laughs> you have to keep their ears dry. Well, it's true. Okay, so now we're gonna do Jonas. His fur is so thick that it takes the longest out of the three of them. So I'm gonna unplug the tub and let it drain and just try and rinse off the soap from their legs as it empties. And then I have to pull them out one by one and wrap them up in a towel and start the drying process. <laughs> So sad, I think. I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. Fern! <laughs> Fern loves this part. <laughs> it's her favorite part. Well, we're gonna do Jonas first. <laughs> I know. Get Jonas out. Just gonna give him a quick. I know, honey. There's her beef crumbles. That's your loose crumbles. Yes, it is. So Jonas is likely going to feel a little bit excited and very energized from his bath, which is why it's going to trigger his coughing. It's Fern's turn! Fern! Are you excited? Oh my gosh! Fern! Okay, ready? She just loves how this feels so much. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, we'll put this down. Yes, what a good girl. When you are. <laughs> so many loose grumbles. Okay, Ivy. <laughs> you ready, V? Are you ready, V? Come on, come on, come on. All right, honey, we'll put this on you. There we go. <laughs> Jonas seems to be having a little bit of a hard time with his cough after having a bath and getting all excited from rubbing up his fur. So I'm just gonna give him a little puff of his inhaler through his Aerodog aerosol chamber because it helps him uh, kind of calm down, breathe a little bit better. There's a little flow view indicator in here where I can see him breathing in and out to make sure that the, whatever you would call it, the puff is actually getting into his airway. Okay, uh, low temperature setting, low blow dryer setting. I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a blow dry. Who's next? 
Uh, let's do Fern. She's gonna be really easy because she's like a floppy noodle. <laughs> you floppy noodle, you just love this attention. Yes, you do. Okay. like it the least <laughs> it is noisy I know we'll do real quick okay <laughs> Okay, I just finished blow drying all three of these little guys. So now I'm gonna go through each of the grooming products that I would use for their ears and their eyes and their nails and their fur and all that good stuff. So we're gonna start with a face wipe using Earth Rated's Doggy Face Wipes. So you can actually use these basically anywhere. It's like a full body wipe. I use it for their face because I can get right into Jonas's nose roll. I also use it on his wee wee sometimes. Um, and just all over his face whenever he needs to have a face wipe. So his eyes, his chin, his forehead, his ears, and then I get into his nose roll, which he really doesn't like, to get all of the gunk out of his nose roll. <laughs> He's like, don't. <laughs> Can I please? Can I wipe your face, please? Now that Jonas's nose roll is clean, I'm just gonna use a little bit of nose butter that you can also use for their paws. I'm gonna put this right in his nose roll and then cover his little nose in it, which helps keep it nice and moisturized. It's also really great for yeast, which can build up in their nose roll as well. So this is just like a topical solve. I'm not afraid to use it liberally. Jonas absolutely hates this part, so bear with me here. This stuff's pretty herbal, so there's not really an issue with him licking it off. He's not much of really a licker anyways, but there, so we put that in there. If you want, you can put a little bit on their paws too. This is pretty multi-purpose. Most nose and paw butter is, you can use it for various things. You can use them for hot spots and abrasions and cuts and wounds, moisturizing. The other day we took the pugs for a walk down to the lake and Jonas actually injured his paw. It looks really good. Is it that foot or was it this foot? No, it was this foot. So he actually like, I think stepped in a wet spot and then he stepped on some ice and it pulled out some of the fur on his toe in between his pad and his little pinky toe. And as soon as I came back, I picked up or I pulled out some of the this balm and mm -hmm. opened up his toe and put a little bit in there mm -hmm. and now it like looks amazing. Mm -hmm. This was actually bleeding pretty badly. So I think next we'll just do a drop of the eye lube. Jonas doesn't have dry eye. Um, I usually just put this on if they have an injury, if there's a, like Jonas has had a corneal ulcer before. I think, I can't remember if Fern and Ivy have had anything before, but anyways, I got this in Calgary uh, for Jonas. I know a lot of pugs suffer from dry eye and have to use this constantly. It's still not a bad thing to use it, so I'm just gonna put a little bit into Jonas's eyes for lubrication. <laughs> 
So I'm going to try and add some of this new stuff. This is brand new. I'm just getting familiar with it. It's actually a silver hydrosol. So I'm just learning about silver hydrosol and using silver for pets. This is a brand called Silver for Wellness. It was sent to us as a gift. So you can use it for a whole variety of things. I'm not gonna try and teach you how to use it because I'm still learning, but this is a silver gel. So you can use it for oral hygiene and uh, like teeth, cleaning teeth. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm just gonna put some of this on my finger and try and <laughs> get it onto his teeth. Moving on to Jonas's ears, I'm just gonna be using a, this is like a very nice natural holistic ear cleaning solution. Same with the shampoo, there are so many different ear cleaning solutions out there, but I would look for the most natural botanical solution you could possibly find. You're more likely to find these in boutique pet stores than you are going to a big chain pet store, just an FYI. This one is by, actually I think this is a local brand to Calgary, so I picked this up when I was in Calgary. I could be totally wrong. They're called Kin and Kind, and it's just a, Clean Ears Solution, Leave-In Relief for Dogs. It has witch hazel and tea tree oil and aloe for stinky ears, itchy ears, and wax buildup. So this is something you can just sort of do preventatively. I definitely wouldn't use it if your dog has an ear infection, uh, but just for cleaning, it's a nice clear solution like this. Super simple. Just gonna drop this into Jonas's ear. <laughs> Give it a little swish. Oh, you love it. Okay, you need a shake? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. So next I'm gonna try and trim Jonas's nails a little bit. There's two main tools for this. One is sort of like your traditional nail clipper. I absolutely hate using these and I actually really like taking the pugs into a grooming studio to get other people to do this for me. So I don't use these. Sometimes Jesse and I team up to try and do this together, but I actually prefer to use a uh, Dremel. This is a dog specific Dremel that you can actually put their little toes in here and use this just for like a gentle trim. Now that we finished trimming Jonas's nails, we're gonna move on to his fur. I'm just going to use some of this Fur Fresh deodorant for dogs. You could use this in between baths, obviously. There's a couple of brands of dog grooming products that do this, but I'm just gonna spray it on his fur because it smells really yummy. After I'm done with the deodorant, I'm just gonna give him a quick brush. This smells so good, actually. Okay. And then should we just give you a brush? Jonas is all done, he's nice and clean. I set him up on his pillow, which is where he sleeps. This is also my pillow. <laughs> and this is his little chin rest, we have it here. His humidifier is going. So he's just gonna settle in here or not. He's kind of having a barking fit right now. So uh, we'll just let him do his thing. I'm going to go <laughs> Are you guys cold? Yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh, V. I'm gonna grab the girls. We'll start with Fern or Ivy, whoever's willing, probably Fern. Uh, and we'll just go through the same routine with each of them.
All right, so we've finished our bath. We've finished our grooming routine for Jonas, Fern, and Ivy. If you guys have any specific questions about the products that I used in this video, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer. I'm also gonna leave some links for the products that I use, for the products that I usually use down in the description below. I just didn't have any of them on hand. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Why do I do bye? <laughs> say that if you liked this video please, no if you enjoyed this video fuck if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> should i say it again if you liked this video bye ready i'm ready are you ready uh, no probably not <laughs> such a horrible mood all morning nope this jesse what is wrong with my brain no see like i don't oh my god 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 <sighs> can you turn that off for a sec like literally what is wrong with my brain why is that so hard okay we're baiting the pugs <gasps> what next <clears throat> I'm so thirsty. Ah! no okay <clears throat> okay okay wait i'm gonna get this done as to what you're should i look at the camera like this Okay, yeah, yeah, are we going? Okay. I just finished blow drying. Now that we finished blow drying, blow drying. So we're done with our green. <laughs> In that video. <laughs> and then be sure, uh, and then subscribe to our channel for what? Why are they subscribing to the channel? For more video, for more videos, for to watch me do ridiculous outtake blooper reels. That's probably why people are gonna start watching these videos. Subscribe, what, subscribe if you want to. Why are they subscribing? <laughs> why do people, why do you guys want to subscribe to this channel? Can you please tell me so that this is easier for me? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, I, I don't care that there's only two minutes left. You're gonna have to grab another memory card.